Hello, and thank you for your interest in audio precision. While there are hundreds of audio measurements that are appropriate for any particular device, there are some basic measurements that are relevant to nearly all audio devices. This video looks at THD plus N. THD plus N stands for Total Harmonic Distortion plus Noise. You can think of THD plus N as everything coming out of your device other than the signal you put in. Harmonic distortion and noise come from different sources, so let's look at them one at a time. An ideal sine wave has only one frequency. In the real world, though, imperfections or nonlinearities in real devices modify or distort the wave, most often by adding harmonics. Harmonic distortion is easy to identify because the distortion products always occur at integer multiples of the original signal's frequency. With a distorted 1 kHz fundamental signal, you'll see energy at 2 kHz, which is the second harmonic, 3K the third harmonic, 4K the fourth harmonic, and so on. If the fundamental is at 4K, the second harmonic is at 8K, the third at 12K, and so on, following the same pattern. A THD measurement sums the total of all the distortion products. It adds up all that extraneous harmonic energy into a single value, total harmonic distortion. The noise of a device is all the energy coming out of the device that is not related to the input signal. Noise sources can include power supply hum, radio frequency interference, switching noise, even the thermal noise of the circuit components themselves. THD plus N level is the sum of all the energy at the DUT output, excluding the test tone. THD plus N level is expressed in volts RMS or in a related absolute unit. THD plus N ratio is the more common measurement because what you usually want to look at is not the absolute distortion level, but the relative level of the distortion products compared to the total signal. As a ratio, it's usually expressed in either percent or in decibels. For percent, we take the THD plus N level and divide by the total signal level. 0.01% distortion is a typical THD plus N ratio for a power amplifier. Distortion ratios express a wide range, and it's often convenient to use a logarithmic scale and state THD plus N in decibels. Since the sum of the distortion products will always be less than the total signal, the THD plus N ratio will always be a negative decibel value, or a percent value less than 100%. Minus 1 dB would be 89% distortion. Minus 40 dB is 1% distortion. Hopefully your device is more like minus 80 dB, or 0.01% distortion, or even minus 100 dB, which is 0.001%. A good rule of thumb is every additional 20 dB down moves the decimal one place to the left. Of course, APX calculates this for you automatically. Keep in mind when making measurements, the analyzer has to have a significantly lower THD plus N than the device under test. The THD plus N of an APX525 is minus 112 dB, or 0.0002% when measured with a 1 kHz signal at 2.5 volts RMS across a 20 Hz to 20 kHz bandwidth. The 2700 series has the lowest THD plus N of any audio analyzer in the world. At the same amplitude and range, it has better than minus 118 dB THD plus N, or 0.0001%. Okay, so let's measure the THD plus N of our DUT, a portable pro audio mixer. With an APX audio analyzer, taking a THD plus N measurement is easy. Just select THD plus N measurement from the measurement navigator, check that the generator level and frequency defaults are okay, and click on. More sophisticated THD plus N measurements are also possible using stepped frequency sweeps, which measure THD plus N at particular frequencies rather than across the entire measurement bandwidth. But for now, we'll just do a typical 20 Hz to 20 kHz measurement. The signal path for our device is balanced to unbalanced, and we'll keep the analyzer bandwidth at 90 kHz. We'll put the mixer's gain controls to 0 dB unity gain, and check our settings with a quick gain measurement. Now we select THD plus N ratio in the measurement navigator. First, 
Remember that THD plus N is relative to a particular input level, so we need to set the analyzer's generator output level. Every class of audio device has its own generally accepted or nominal input level. For this Pro Audio Mixer, we'll use plus 4 dBU, which is 1.228 volts RMS. We turn on the generator, and immediately the THD plus N ratio is visible in the measurement result panel. We can select dB or percent units, and we can switch the measurement result to THD plus N level, which is expressed in volts RMS. The other measurement results show the various distortion products where we can look at the fundamental and the individual harmonics of the signal as either a ratio or as absolute levels. Note that the distortion readings in the upper harmonics are varying erratically. This is an indication that the harmonic energy at those frequencies is near the noise floor of the device. A quick glance at our FFT monitor confirms the suspicion. One nice feature of the APX is the THD plus N residual option in the audible monitor. We'll turn on the monitor, then select THD plus N residual. The APX notches out the input signal, then adds enough gain to make just the distortion and noise audible. We've now measured the THD plus N of this mixer. Next up, frequency response.